we can use the same method to answer a question like this. Determine a vector orthogonal, meaning perpendicular, to both of these two vectors, and with a magnitude of 5. How am I going to do that? Well, I can get a vector orthogonal to a and b by getting the cross product. The cross product will be perpendicular to both of those two vectors. And from that, I'm going to find a vector with a magnitude of 5. One step at a time. Let's get a vector orthogonal to both of these by getting the cross product. OK. Um, a cross B is the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. I'm trying to show you this method so that you can just always use it and not have to try to remember a complicated formula. I, J. Of course, some of you may actually prefer to, you, to, to remember the formula, and that's OK. Personally, I much prefer to remember a method, a process. Negative 3, 4, 1. OK, so that is something i hat minus something j hat plus something, oops, my line's getting smaller, k hat. Put in the numbers. i hat, take out its row and column, 2, negative 2, 4, 1. J hat, take out its row and column. 3, negative 2, negative 3, 1. K hat, take out its row and column. What are you left with? 3, 2, negative 3, 4. And then each of those, multiply this diagonal and multiply that diagonal. So, 2 minus negative 8 i hat minus 3, whoops, 3 minus 6 j hat plus, what is it times k hat, 12 minus negative 6. That is uh, 2 plus 8, 10 i hat, minus 3 take 6, ah, oh, minus negative 3 j hat, plus 12 take negative 6 is 12 plus 6, which is 18 k hat. And just to make sure I write it cleanly and simply, plus 3 j hat, plus 18 k hat. Now, if that's A cross B, I need a vector that's in this direction, but has magnitude 5. So what I'm going to do is turn this vector into a unit vector, and then multiply by 5. So, the length of A cross B I'm going to need to make it a unit vector. The length of A cross B is the square root of 10 squared plus 3 squared plus 18 squared. You're going to get your calculator and you're going to go 10 squared, oops, I'm a bit further over, plus 3 squared plus 18 squared. Square root of that is, no, I don't want that. I want the third. Square root of 433, please. OK, so that's the length of A cross B. So my unit vector um, is going to be, uh, so unit vector is going to be 1 over root 433, 10i hat plus 3j hat plus 18k hat. And so, therefore, the required vector 
of magnitude 5 is going to be 5 over root 433 times 10i plus 3j plus 18k. My writing's getting a bit messy. Now you may prefer to rationalise the denominator, so you would go 5 root 433 over 433 of the same vector. And we have successfully determined a vector orthogonal to a and b. We know it's orthogonal because this one is the cross product. And it has magnitude 5.